Hi everybody, it's Danielle. Welcome back to my channel. Today what I wanted to do and in the next few videos I'll make is I wanted to kind of do author spotlight videos. So the authors that I'm going to talk about are authors that I really like and if they come out with a book I definitely buy their book. However, I don't really hear much about them on booktube so I wanted to share their books that I have read that I have liked. Maybe um, you've read them and maybe you like them hopefully or if you haven't read them then, then maybe you'll check them out. So let's get into this. The first author that I want to talk about I'm only talking one for this video. Her name is Amy Carter and I'll show you her picture in the back of her book. Ooh, one of the books that she has. So the first series that, well actually it's a trilogy, but it has one of those um, no, novellas along with it, is the Goddess Test series by Amy Carter. And I really enjoyed this. Oh, you can kind of see how shiny and cool the cover is, you know. Uh, okay. Wait, there's... Ooh. So, basically, this has, this has Greek mythology in it. And I love any book that has to do with mythology. So, this story is loosely related to the Greek story of Hades and Persephone. Now when I say loosely, I mean very loosely related, but it has to do with a girl named Kate who um, basically she meets this man and she's kind of put through these tests she doesn't really know why, not really sure, you would never really know when she's being tested to see if she is fit to, I guess you could say rule, but also then become the significant other to this man. And I don't want to tell you very much because it'll like ruin it and I, and I want you to read this and be surprised, but the... Greek gods are in here and they are, how do they, they're like among humans. So like for example Hades, yes that's his name, however since he's among humans, he like lives among humans, he doesn't want people to call him Hades. So his name is in the book Henry. And then every so many decades, they, like, change their their first name. So in the back of her book here, it gives you, like, a guide to the gods. And it tells you, like, their official name and then the name that she uses in the book. Now, I just... Oh, and look at It even has a blurb by Cassandra Clear on top. I just really enjoyed this series. I love when authors involve Greek mythology in their books and I think Greek mythology can go all sorts of different ways because you're, the authors are using their own imagination with it. It's just really good. I would definitely recommend The Goddess Test series by Amy Carter. Now, the next series by her is her newest series. And by the way, that, the Goddess Text series, is Young Adult, and the one I'm mentioning next is Young Adult, too. Let me grab these books. All right. So these books are... This is... Now, I have all three of these here with me. I do have all of her other series. They're just not here with me. The first one is Pawn. And it's by Amy Carter. Now these covers are just flippin' gorgeous. Like, I don't know if you can tell, but that's like an eye in there. How cool. And then um, the sides of the covers are so pretty. And even, you guys, I'm not even joking. Look at the 
when you take the sleeve off, look at how gorgeous that cover is. When you read the book, the Roman numeral three in this person's eye will make sense. But these, there's three in this series, and these are the Black Coat Rebellion series. Now, I just love this series. Actually, I keep saying series, and it's a trilogy. I just love this trilogy. It's so good. It's, um, it's another world where there's a ruling, it's the, the United States, but it's like many years later, wars have happened, and it's ruled by a ruling family. And in this society, every person is assigned a number when they turn a certain age. So I, I can't remember the age. I think it's 16. You take this test, and then after the test, you get a number. Now you get a number one through six. However, you can have a number seven, but the ruling family only has sevens. So in order to get a seven, you literally have to be born into that royal family. So when you take the test, you get your number and it's a Roman numeral and it's actually tattooed then on the back of your neck. And that number basically tells everyone your what class you're in, what jobs you can do, where you'll live. It basically decides your whole life and future. Now you can imagine that a lot of people don't like this. Hence the name of this trilogy, The Black Coat Rebellion. Well, the main character in this um, trilogy, her name is Kitty Doe, and she's an orphan. And one night while she's like out and about, she gets propositioned to be a part of the royal family and basically become a number seven. And it's not really a choice. It's basically like, you're going to do this or we're going to kill you. So obviously she does it. And she becomes a part of the royal family. I'm not going to really tell you anymore because it'll ruin the whole story. But I, this was so good. In some parts when I was reading these books, I was like, what? Like that. So good. I was so excited when these came out. So the first one is Pawn. The, get it. the second one is Captive. Like how gorgeous. Let me take the dust jacket off here. Because these are like so pretty. Yep. Look at this. Bam. Um, The girl's bright blue eyes are significant in the telling of the story and if you look closer in her eyes she now has the number seven kind of like what I told you about the intro or the first book so yes second one captive and the third one again with the blue eye and if you look in that eye it has an X hmm. And then let me take the dust jacket off here. And it again has one of those gorgeous, gorgeous covers. And you can again see the X in her name. In her name. In her eye. So those are the three books. If you can pick this series up, I definitely would. I'm pretty sure it's in... I know the first one's in paperback. But... Oops. Let me fix that. Okay. So it's the Black Coat Rebellion series. Again, it's by Amy Carter and it's Pawn, Captive, and Queen. And I just adore this series. It's so good. If you pick up either one of hers, whether it's, I love the Goddess Test series and I love the Black Coat Rebellion series, I would try the Black Coat Rebellion. That one's my all time favorite. But again, like I said, I like them both. But anyways, you guys, that's it for this video. I hope you like this. Um, my little spotlight on an author, Amy Carter. I really enjoy her books. I'll leave her books, all of them that I mentioned. I always leave books that I mentioned in the description box. Plus, if you want to like follow her on Twitter or anything like that, 
social media. I'll leave her links down below. Um, let me know if you've read any of these books or if you plan on reading them or if you've even heard of them. Let me know what um, your opinion is. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Don't forget to subscribe and leave a comment down below and I'll see you all later. Bye-bye.